you and A and R at Ireland. Then what you know the we're we we're, we're, we're getting towards the um you know the latter part of the nineties into two thousands. Music is shifting now. You know all your Brooklyn natives are all coming up and dominating. You know from Jay Z and stuff. It you know what are you doing as a producer to see? Well, you know it's. Uh, you know, making sure you be you're still relevant as a producer in hit an R and B when hip hop now is becoming the dominant sound. Well, at that time when that started to shift, I was now A and R at Motown. I was a scene director of A and R at Motown under Kidar Massenberg, who was the president of Motown at the time. Oh, Mr. So Neo Soul, man. <laughs> yes, he's the, the, the god of Neo Soul. Absolutely. <laughs> Kidar Massenberg. He, he changed the game. So Kidar hired me, gave me an opportunity. So then I'm over there working as a and I'm working on Will Downing records, The Temptations. We're working with Stevie Wonder. It's just an amazing thing, man. So I went from one side to to the next where I did more um work on the executive side. And then I did produce some songs. I, I produced the Temptations album that won a Grammy that year. Uh -huh. So it was always um it was always a good the 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 journey has has always been amazing. Were you there when um um oh, what's the name of the um profile? Yes, absolutely. I was there when they signed profile. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. But you didn't. So when you're there as an exec, you're not working as you're not supporting them. Um, on you're not doing production. Not on that particular project. I think while Profile was there, I was there working on. I was I was doing the Temptations album at the time. Okay. Okay. So you were there during um, either Chico the Barge as well. Absolutely, Chico. That's my friend. That's my brother. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what was the difference going from Ireland to Motown? Uh, because there was there a different sort of management style and uh, and sort of expectations? No, I I did. I produced a lot more at Island Records, the Island Black Music. Um, I, I kind of lived more on the production side. On um, At Motown, I kind of stayed more in the um, the A&R executive lane. So what's what's the difference between in and the executive side? Did you did you what did you bring differently um compared to being in the studio? Do you think you, you brought to the artist? No, I just at the I just honored the assignment that was given to me. So Kadar wanted me to find songs and writers uh -huh. um for the artist. So um if 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 the assignment and the goal was we need you to bring us some writers and producers, then that's where my focus went. Wow, that's how I would think it's like, well, why don't you go produce the whole album? You know, you so, well, not, not, not the whole album, but he did give me opportunities um, to produce on some of the records in which I did. Like I wrote on Will Downing's album. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote on The Temptations. Um, I was working with Indy Irie because, you oh. know, she was newly signed there at the time. Yeah. So, I did get an opportunity to go in the studio and cut records with a lot of those artists. Okay. So when Kadar moves on from Motown, oh, I mean, how did you, what happens after time at Motown? How, what did you move on to do after that? I started working for a company called JSM. JSM was a, a, a advertisement music production house where they just did commercials, just jingles and television commercials. And I met the owner and they gave me an opportunity um, and I went to work for them mainly because he gave me a studio, right? He gave me space in this amazing facility to have my own studio. So for me, that was the selling point. You know, I was now able to write commercials, do jingles and have a studio 24 seven. I wasn't going to turn that down. Oh, so people might think, well, you left the a, a industry to do so did you what did you learn by making that switch? Uh it was a def it's definitely a different creative process, you know, scoring television commercials and jing jingles. It 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 requires a different type of creativity. Um but I wanted I've always wanted to get in that industry and I knew that was a hard industry to really get in. So once I um found 
favor with the owner and he gave me the opportunity, I decided I wanted to explore it. How long, how long did you do that for? I did that for about three years. Wow. Oh, any famous commercials that people might say? Uh... A lot. Walmart, Subway, uh, Piggly Wiggly, if you live in the <laughs> South. Um, Piggly Wiggly. I, I, was, uh, I went to college in Alabama. Yeah, I know Piggly uh, Wiggly. Right. Uh, every Kiss Begins with K. I, that's the theme. Uh, it's a whole bunch of stuff. Wow. After three years, what what happens? Did he give you? Did you? Did he just give you a studio, or you used his a studio? That it, no, did... he he had space. He had empty room. He had rooms. He just had space that was available. So I put all my my gear, and they already had gear. The rooms are already built out. So that became my production facility. But then, when you were doing this, were you still producing artists on the side, or just that was a hundred percent? No, at that point, it was just really. Uh, writing commercials, wow, and just songwriting on the side, just writing for my own personal catalog. But it was mainly doing television scoring. Then after three years, what did you? What happens? After three years, I get a call to do um a show called Sunday Best. Um, was the that gospel on show. Yes, on BT. Um, I was the the co music director with my friend um Paul. Paul Morton, PJ Morton. Oh. Um, PJ Morton and I and, and, and the fellas, Corey Henry, um, all of us. We were all in a band together. We did Sunday Best. And then after that, um, I got hired at um at RCA Inspiration, um, the gospel division, which was called Verity, formerly known as Verity. Oh, I know Verity Records, yeah. Um, and then um I, I worked there for three years. Was that being executive or yes, A and R. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Under at, under James Jazzy Jordan. He hired me to work work there. So then I just started signing gospel artists. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the Half Time Chat community. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, but most importantly, why don't you consider being a member as a way of supporting the channel, but also getting a lot of videos ahead of time, a lot of behind the scenes stuff and some exclusive content that doesn't get shared. But anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for being part of Halftime Chat.